What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes, heading to my next service call in Valley Stream. Um, kind of down the block from our old office. <laughs> wow. Uh, we haven't been to this customer in an hour. I'm going to probably say maybe around six or seven or eight years. You know, the whole COVID thing throws me off for like four years, but we probably maybe haven't been there in 10 years. Central air conditioning system, not cooling. Um, if I recall correctly, it's an R22 system. Let's go see what's going on. Here's the actual service call, ladies and gentlemen, on how I run a service call. Hi. Hi. Okay. It's okay. He will lick you to death, but he doesn't look like that. You think okay. he's going to eat you, but he's not. It's... I think it's hotter inside than it is outside. Oh, would you stop? No, <laughs> I'm I sorry. I am like drained. When did the air conditioning uh, stop working? Um, I want to say it was kind of, you know, we were setting the temperature and it was like missing it by two. Then instead of missing it by four, then it was like. Okay. Pfft, you have the system off now? Yes. Good. Okay, where's the thermostat? The thermostat is right there, that okay. thing there. How many systems do you have for the house? One? Only one, yeah, but I think my husband was saying there's a unit up in the attic. Okay. But the big thing is outside. The, just... Okay, does anything blow out of the vents when you turn it on? Um, air, but like... Cold, warm? Ish, yeah. Okay, let's but go But anything the would be cold. To, to... Not this one? No, that's that one's the heat. Mm -hmm. That one's the. Okay. And the filter's clean? Um, probably not. Probably not? No, but I took the filter down to um, just see was yeah, it. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's not the worst. And this is definitely the cooling thermostat. It is indeed. Let's make sure. Yep, yeah, okay. Let's see what happens when you turn the fan on. Okay. And that's 89 in here, so let's. Yeah, that's a nice good. Uh, oh, it's great. That's a nice. It's just... like a sauna. Yeah. yeah. That badness out of you, come into here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's the outdoor unit? The outdoor unit is here. Okay, so we have air coming out of the vents. Let's go see the outdoor unit. Trying to do like a spring and a sun clean all in one. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's cooler up here. It's not awful. And I have fans blowing inside. Straight ahead? Straight ahead and then make a right. I'm going to have to do diets. Come to my house and clean and you sweat everything out. Well, she's running. She's running? I, well, she's running. Doesn't mean she's actually doing anything. No, she, I didn't think she was doing anything. All right, I'm gonna get my tools and we're gonna investigate and see what this thing is doing out here. Okay. So it looks like we've been here before. How old is this thing? Oh, my this goodness. This thing um, is from... Put it this way, we've been here 16 years. 2003. Uh, we've... Yeah, so it's been 16 plus? I don't know. Is that bad? It's probably bad, right? Well, as long as it works, right? Well, see, this is it. We've never had... Yeah, you guys, because yeah. we got your little thing here. So... Yeah. I think maybe last time you were out, maybe 10 years ago, maybe? I don't know. Maybe? This is, it's a guess, a complete guess. 
All right, I'm gonna get my tools and we're gonna see what to do. Right, so I got my R22 Testo 557s. I got my tool bag. Um, it didn't feel beer can cold when I touched that uh, suction line on the uh, line set. I hope it's not low in refrigerant. It's gonna suck for them. All right, first things first, visual observation. Yep, wonder what's up with that. Let's see. Uh, yeah, looks like maybe the dog's been urinating on that. <sighs> Which sucks, because they're gonna want to murder their dog if there's a refrigerant leak there. some pressure in the system. Purge the air out. Well, let's plug her in. Damn thing just shattered. <laughs> How low can we go? Let's see if we go into negative territory here. at the rest of the coil. All right, 24 PSI low, 148 high. Ma'am? Hi. Okay. You want the uh, the good news, I mean, the bad news, or the bad news first? Oh God, just just any which way. You need to replace your system. Oh dear, no. Uh oh. Uh, it's low on refrigerant. Mm -hmm. You're the system the refrigerant that the system uses is Freon, which was phased out. Uh, I don't know, 14 years ago, and was completely phased out four years ago. Um, and the refrigerant that it replaced is being phased out next year. Uh, that's, that's just to put things in perspective. That's how old your system is. Oh dear. All right, and it's, it needs Freon. If you want to just give yourself instant gratification, I can offer that, but it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll be probably spend at least almost two thousand dollars to add more refrigerant to the system with labor and things like that. Two hundred fifty dollars a pound. It's, it's not cheap. Um, or you replace your system, and starting at the low teens. Mm. You know what? Let me get my husband on the phone. Okay. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen. I laid all the cards on the table. All right? All seriousness, all kidding aside, you know, another Ream Rude R22 system installed with the line set. You're going to be in the low teens. Keeping it real. You know, you have a, a day of labor with a crew of three. You have the cost of equipment, you have markup, profit. I gave them all the information, laid all the cards on the table. Um, spoke to the husband on the phone. He's like, yeah, that's not happening right now. 
And I get it. You know, the the dollar is getting you a lot less than it did, you know, four or five years ago. A lot less a lot less you get now than what you did before. And uh, I made the I made them both aware that there are programs uh, through the government, you know, like Green Jobs Green New York, uh, through NYSERDA, where there's income thresholds. Uh, you could be LMI, low moderate income, and realistically, if we were to do a manual J here, and you need a five ton system at, you know, 17 degrees for a heat pump, you know, you can get back, you know, 11, 11 and a half thousand dollars. That's some real money. And if you uh, need some financing, as long as you meet, you know, uh, credit criteria, you know, you can get essentially a 30 year mortgage for like two and a half percent. Remember the, the mortgage rates at a 30 year mortgage during COVID? It's almost there, right? <laughs> 2.65. Now they're close to seven. Anyway, um, just want to show you a, a little video where I don't normally, you know, it's not like I get every single job that I come across. I don't. But my close rate is quite high. Um, I'm not a salesman, right? I'm just the owner of the company and I try to put myself in their shoes and speak to them like they would be family, right? Give them the options, let them make the decision, right? And be forward about how to pay for things, right? Because some, right, may just may not want to bring that up, you know? But if you mention it first, like we accept cash debit or credit card for service calls, right? If you have a a, a large repair needs to be done. We offer financing, right? It can apply right on our website. Give the option to the homeowner. That way you can break the ice. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.